Hello and welcome. Today's recipe is a slow cooked leg of lamb. The brilliance of this slow cooking method is that you don't have to do a lot of preparation. With the vegetables added, it's a whole meal in itself. To get started, we're going to take our leg of lamb out of the refrigerator and leave it at room temperature for about half an hour. And we begin by gathering and measuring out all of our ingredients. And next we're going to peel and cut a large onion into rings and then use those rings to line the bottom of the slow cooker dish. Next we're using three medium sized potatoes and keeping their skins on we're going to cut them into chunks of about two inches. And we do the same for the carrots as well. And then you also need to add three to four peeled cloves of garlic. Add a sprinkle of salt, a tablespoon of olive oil and then set the bowl to one side for later. And to make the stock we're using a vegetable stock cube and stirring in about half a pint of boiling water. And stir well to make sure that the cube is fully dissolved. Next we're going to prepare the seasoning for the lamb. So it's half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon each of rosemary and thyme, and one tablespoon of olive oil. And just give everything a good mix. Place the lamb into the bowl and begin rubbing the seasoning into the meat until it's all coated. Place the seasoned lamb in your slow cooker so that it sits on top of the layer of onions. Pour in the stock, add the bay leaves and then close the lid. And a high setting for a standard slow cooker is about 200 to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. After the lamb has been cooking for three hours, remove the lid and add in the vegetables. Pop the lid back on and then set to cook for another two hours. After this second stage of cooking, your vegetables should be fully done and the lamb should be nice and tender. If you find that your veggies are done but you prefer your lamb to be just a little more softer then scoop out the vegetables into another separate dish and leave the lamb to cook for another 30 minutes. Once your lamb is ready to be served, the garnish of chopped spring onions finishes off the dish. And my personal recommendation is some mint sauce on the side which works really beautifully with this meat. I do hope you enjoy trying out this recipe and a big thank you for watching.